Good night, and God save Illinois. Welcome back to Hanging with the Herons. My name is James. This is another 365 movies in 365 days in 3 minutes and 65 seconds. Boom. Where did I watch go? We have Chicago this episode. I'm not really prone to musicals all the time. There's some that I really, really find fantastic. This is a good one. I have seen Chicago both on Broadway in New York and on film. The version I saw in New York wasn't the best version. The film I thought was really great. I really enjoy the dancing. I do want to point out, if you've never seen this film, it is a burlesque show film. In case you don't know anything about this, check it out ahead of time maybe. Let's get to this incredible cast. Let's just start off with my friendly acquaintance, I'm proud to say, Tay Diggs. Interestingly enough, Tay Diggs was also in the Broadway production. That's not the one that I saw, and he actually played the role that Richard Gere plays in this film. He's a really nice person, to be honest, as well. I knew him in New York City. I say friendly acquaintance because I don't think that he would remember me off the top of his head, but if we came in contact, we could relate and talk about some people that we do know. And then again, I saw him in Los Angeles, and he was very kind when I introduced him to Jennifer, who she is a big fan of Tay Diggs. Shout out to Tay Diggs, excellent performance in this film. Then, we do have Richard Gere, who I think is good in this. He did spend three months trying to learn how to tap dance, and so that was only for one scene that took half a day to shoot, but he said that was like the hardest thing he's ever done. I like Richard Gere in this. He's better, I feel like, as an actor than he is in the musical numbers and Broadway performances. Then, the most underrated guy in this film that I would say, and probably in a lot of film today, if we really look over the entirety of his career, John C. Riley. If for nothing else, poetic and ironic that he sings Mr. Cellophane. Phenomenal job, great singing. John C. Riley really does well well in his roles. What I love about John C. Riley too is that he is so diverse. He does everything from stupid, goofy characters with Will Ferrell to very serious films like Gangs of New York and even Wreck-It Ralph. So he has quite the diverse career, an excellent performer. Now let's get to those amazingly talented, lovely actresses. Of course we have the lovely Renee Zellweger. She's fascinating to me because she is a really good actress. She does play cute and pretty well. She's in great shape for this film. And then other times in like Bridget Jones's Diary, she's clearly trying to go for a less appealing, less attractive character. So it's very fascinating to me when you can be so diverse and she plays both roles extremely well too. Then we have the lovely Catherine Zeta-Jones. She's Catherine Zeta-Jones. I think one of my favorite films of hers was with John Cusack where she was America's Sweetheart. She's great in this in her role though. She does it fantastically. There's some phenomenal dancing which she really wanted to make sure people knew that she did. The director actually wanted Catherine Zeta-Jones to keep her hair long. However, she refused and said, no, I want my hair short so everyone can see my face and know that it's actually me doing the dance numbers. So some quick fire facts peppered in here. Some other amazing actresses as well. Lucy Liu's in this, one of my all time favorite actresses. I really love her in Payback, she's fantastic. Queen Latifah's in this and she's lovely. She beat out Beyonce. Despite Beyonce and her management really hustling to try to get Beyonce in the role, Queen Latifah just played it better and was well casted and she is true Queen Latifah. She's excellent. Very similar to almost something like Moulin Rouge, which is actually one of my all time favorite musicals. Maya is in this and she does a lovely job singing, performing in her role. So excellent cast. Let's get to some of those zany quick fire facts. Chicago, the musical actually created off of a real life murder in 1924 and adapted. So that's pretty phenomenal. This wasn't just some zany idea. This was some real life stuff. Catherine Zeta Jones says this performance was the highlight of her career. And last quick fire fact, before the film, Renee Zellweger actually had no professional singing or dancing training and she got all of it before this and she did a phenomenal job. Hey, I hope you've enjoyed this episode of 365 Movies in 365 Days in 3 Minutes and 65 Seconds with Hanging with the Herons. Again, my name is James. Comment below. Let me know what your thoughts are on this film if you've already seen it. If you haven't seen it, go check it out. Come back and let me know what you think about it then. As always, peace. On that journey.